It's been five years since a massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland where 17 people were killed. Schools all across Broward County remembering those whose lives were tragically lost on Valentine's Day. And those victims also remembered at several events across South Florida today. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live in Parkland with a touching tribute still taking place there. Andrew. You know, for so many people across South Florida, it's very clear that it does not feel like five years has passed by. Many feeling like this happened just yesterday. I want to go ahead and send you to some video. There are so many events that have been happening all across South Florida to honor the 17 lives lost at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. A really touching tribute, for instance, out of Miramar at Silver Shores Elementary School this morning. You had students, faculty, staff creating this giant human heart on the PE field and creating the number 17 for the 17 lives lost five years ago. Over in Coral Springs, the community coming together for what's called a spreading of love candle lighting ceremony and dove release. It was put on by a community, a group, Eagles Haven, which is a community wellness center that was created after the shooting to deal with crisis management, to provide wellness activities and support all year long. Parkland families then lit candles as each of the 17 names were called out and then they released 17 doves together. I see Alex in, in every one of them and all the 17 in, in each dove and I'm wondering, are they gonna come back? Where are they now, you know? And as I, as I wonder where Alex is and all the 17. It's different because we're still reeling from the verdict and the trial and the death penalty. It's uh, because it's the fifth year, more people are paying attention. We extend their legacy and especially uh, keeping in mind all of them so we don't lose track of the important people in this, the victims. Well, back out here live at Pines Trail Park in Parkland, another big event scheduled for 530 this evening. There was a beautiful quote we heard that I want to share with you at one of the ceremonies. It goes like this. It said you die twice, the first time when you stop breathing and the second the last time that someone says your name. Well, that quote was read right before each of those 17 names was read out loud. So many more ceremonies. We're coming back with more coming up Local 10 News at 4 o'clock. That's the latest here in Parkland. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. All right. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Such a tough day for everybody.